Carajo. Hello, my Sagittarian friends. It's Guiding Halo. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys for finances, money, career for March. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys. Money, career, finances for March. So this pile over here on the left is going to be the situation you're facing. Wow. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. That's beautiful energy. Brand new beginnings. Happiness. Clarity. Joy. Amazing. And, ooh, the Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Someone may very well be getting a new home, new job, new career, signing new contracts. Let's find out what's going on around this incredible happiness. Someone could be buying a home. Whoops, there we go. Great strength, there's your energy. There's some sort of fear. There's some sort of fear that needs to be tamed. Oh, what is that strength? It's going to take great strength to tame it, but it's divinely guided that you do. Taming the inner fear, taming the beast within. Temporary pause in action sees well planted, unnecessary worry. Something you dealt with seven months ago may be coming back around to bring you some sort of happiness. There is an ending here, or you're dealing with a Scorpio in some sort of way. Transformation nonetheless. It's just, absolutely just. We have Libra, we have Scorpio. There's some sort of justice coming to a, a, your situation by an ending that transforms or an ending that occurs. Tower moment. It's like something you thought you believed in you, whatever else, it's all falling down. It's all going to fall down around you because there's some sort of flaw in the new start. There's a new start. I just saw the Ace of Cups in the deck. There's some sort of flaw in your foundation of belief, of understanding. You've built a fault, a, you know, something on a solid ground. There could be a Scorpio that ends up incredibly happy about this. The Moon card, justice surrounding a Cancer. There's, there's more going on here than meets the eye. Oh. There's more going on here than meets the eye and important psychic insights are coming in. It's like you're walking, but it's like you're blinded by what you can't see what's going on around you. You're not sure. A Scorpio could be involved that feels this is going to be a just situation nonetheless, and, and that's going to bring you a great happiness. It could be surrounding a Leo or even a Scorpio. Cutting out the bullshit. Someone could have something legal happen. Uh, it could even be just a speeding ticket or something else. I think you're tired of the unknown and you want to take control of the situation. Whatever that is for you. There could be a transformation in the justice system that helps you move forward. Helps bring finances or a situation your way. What's crossing you is a cancer. Movement forward. You could be dealing with somebody who who is coming to a circumstance and you feel like is blocking a certain happiness. There will be movement forward, but it will be in divine timing. It's like you're trying to make it move forward before it's supposed to. The chariot. You want fast forward movement and you want it now. There may be something you need to cut out the BS with, with a... Libra. Scorpio, yeah. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Brand new home, brand new finances, brand new everything. This is what's coming towards you. So that's beautiful. A brand new life. You're going to need have to have the confidence to move forward with it. An offer or an apology. Someone coming in to say something or give you some communication that makes you emotional. It's going to surprise you. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. A gift from the divine coming in. How beautiful is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's right. You're kind of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't take it all at once. 
You want to take a leap of faith towards a contract with a kindred spirit. There could be, there's opportunities coming your way you don't even see. I'm telling you, you're focused on something at the past or something that's blocking you. And what's coming your way is absolutely beautiful. Some of you could be getting into an emotional relationship. Someone coming in to offer themselves as they are. Which brings a solid foundation to your finances and a new home. So what are you not seeing in the circumstance? You need to take time to rest, to heal. Taking this is like Empress energy something this could be someone who's pregnant about to have a baby possibly in April Feeling defensive battle-worn weary not sure who you can trust good news coming in about money You feel like you want to walk away emotionally someone wants to walk away emotionally from a challenging situation There's good news coming from a distance a passionate passionate offer you need to actually really Use logic, structure, and discipline in order to put an ending to the mental issues, that the frustration that's surrounding you with this. All right, one more card for this pile of what's coming in. I saw the Ace of Wands now, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. My Sagittarius friends, this is so beautiful. Look at that. Good news coming in about money. This could be a child, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, coming in to offer you a little bit of something that makes you happy. It's like you're starting to see that trust can be there. You can trust your own judgment. What's crossing this beauty? Challenging information coming in, wondering if it's actually gonna work. You're expecting the worst in this scenario. There's Libra energy here and Scorpio especially. Cancer as well, big time. You feel like you're waiting for an ending to come about with a cancer that make you incredibly happy. But the new starts are going to come to you regardless of what you're dealing with here. It's like you want to take control of the situation and cut out the crap. Or maybe you're waiting for someone else to do that. Tell me, please, Divine, give us the information about what is going to happen by the end of the month. You're going to be moving away from difficult waters to calm waters. Seeing the communication come in that leaves the situation behind. That's beautiful. The Two of Swords. Still unable or unwilling to make a decision. Not sure what to do. Sitting in stalemate energy. It's like you're blocking your heart chakra. You want to give your heart, but there's someone or something in the way. The Three of Wands. Wow. Creating a beautiful new beginning. Seeing the future right in front of you. Able to reach out and grab it, create it. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. Be careful of manipulative energies, either from you or from somebody else towards you. Be careful of that because the manipulation, it, it leaves you stuck in a loop between indecision and manipulation. It leaves you stuck in a loop between making a decision and feeling hurt about it. You may win, but at what cost will you win, is the question. Angelic advice, please, for the month of March. Angelic advice for the month of March. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Even though you're in an I don't know scenario, relax and feel safe. They've got you. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. See what I'm saying about not manipulating the situation, but having compassion. I wonder if there's going to be an ending here in, in a commitment or a job thing or whatever. That's a tower moment. Surprises everybody. And you're really going to need to be kind and gracious to help someone through it. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. And you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. What did I say earlier? I said that you are starting to learn and need to trust your own judgment. Trust is an inside job. You can't trust anybody else until you can trust your own judgment about certain situations and scenarios. Trust that whatever happens, you've got you. Divine's got you. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. Blessings to you.